Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to my channel, Eid Mubarak to one and all. Here I am sharing a simple Eid breakfast routine done at my home. The breakfast is usually simple but yet so delicious. Brings back memories of my childhood. To begin with the cooking, I usually start with the sweet. For that I have taken half a litre of whole milk. And I'm bringing it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, you can add sugar 4 tablespoons. If you have koa, you can grind the koa with a little bit of warm milk and add the paste to this milk for added flavor. As I did not have any koa at home, I have just skipped the step, yet it tasted amazing. Next I am adding 1.5 cups of vermicelli. I have dry roasted the vermicelli on a pan for 10 to 15 minutes on low flame until it has browned beautifully. Simmer on low flame until the vermicelli cooks well. It took about 4 to 5 minutes for me. Next I am adding the dry fruits. I have fried almonds, cashews and raisins in ghee in low flame until golden brown. Add this to the milk vermicelli mixture and mix well. So our delicious and very simple with minimal ingredients in here is ready. We will move on to the next dish. This is a very simple mutton keema and potato semi dry gravy. I am adding 3 tablespoons of oil to the pan. Next I am adding onions 1 cup finely chopped. Saute until golden brown. One tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. Tomatoes, 1 cup finely chopped. Next I am adding salt to taste. 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Next I am adding mutton keema 250 grams. One potato chopped. Add a cup of water and simmer on low flame until it all cooks together. You can make this dish in a pressure cooker as well. Cook it for two whistles. Once it's three-fourth done, add coconut paste three tablespoons and mix well. Mix and simmer for about five minutes or until it forms into a nice thick gravy. Lastly, add coriander leaves. For garnish. Serve with hot rotis and parathas. So our delicious breakfast is ready. I have served it with parathas. Do try the simple keema recipe and senia and let us know how it turned out. Once again a very happy eat to one and all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.